Like many African countries, Egypt is not short on sunshine, and its homeowners are taking full advantage of this. By installing solar panels and joining a government incentive program, they can now sell back unused energy. This is part of the feed-in tariff program that the government did in 2014 to stimulate solar energy and renewable energy. Anyone who is producing solar energy could agree with the government to connect the station to the power grid and therefore will receive monthly revenue. Well, fuel subsidies have long weighed on Egypt's state budget. And with a plan to gradually decrease the government's subsidy payments in the works, more and more companies that specialize in solar power, like Abdel Ghaffar's Solaris Egypt, are sprouting up. I think our timing was perfect. We started before the market did, but many changes that happened during the past period of time resulted in the spread of solar power, including that Egypt decided to remove the subsidies. Therefore, the price of fuel is starting to increase gently. There is now room for solar power to become efficient. The electricity generated by solar power is now cheaper than the electricity generated by natural gas. Egypt's local banks are also trying to get some skin in the game, offering to fund private solar power stations. The problem is we are buying 25 years worth of electricity today. We purchased the entire system. What we were able to do during the past period of time is that we introduced the banking sector to finance the solar stations. Therefore, there is financial positivity where the owner pays the cost of the station over seven years many times without an initial down payment. It is now easy and widely spread. This also enables us to finish about 35 projects over the last period. However, the Solar Energy Development Association, which started in 2007, believes that the government needs to focus on solar SMEs to increase the use of renewable energy. There is no doubt that there is success, but our ambitions are much bigger. The big problem that we're facing at the moment is that the state is concerned about solar power on a mega project scale. The state is trying to get big investors to make huge investments in big projects, but there is a fallback on small and medium-sized enterprises. The SMEs will be able to create the much-needed shift. For Gasser, the increase in solar power use will also create numerous job opportunities. Last year, President El Sisi said that Egypt aimed to build solar and wind power plants in the next three years, with a combined capacity of 4,300 megawatts to help boost power generation in the country. Uche Okoronkwo, CCTV.